I'm going to show you another alternative way to join both devices, uh, both your laptop and your iPad simultaneously. So I'm going to start off by opening up um, a Zoom link on my laptop. So when I do that and I hit allow, it will launch uh, my Zoom. So now that I'm connected uh, with Zoom, let's say this is my laptop and this is a television that I am plugged directly into. So this could be a projector, it could be a TV, it could be a uh, monitor, it's, it's up to you how you wanna choose to do this. But let's say I'm teaching a class both in person and hybrid simultaneously. What I can do is I can open up Zoom here on uh, my laptop. I have that laptop plugged into a second screen of some sort. Um, now, what I uh, am going to do is in my Zoom settings, I can go down to Preferences, and there's an option uh, under General that says Use Dual Monitors. Uh, if I don't have that on, then I just have one thing that shows up here on my main page, and that's it. Uh, if I check the dual monitor box, then I have two different displays, um, two things that show up in different spots. So I might have this that shows up here, uh, and then this one that shows up here. Now I could choose to make uh, this one uh, or the other into a gallery view if I want. So I could have one of them show me all the students in the class, while the other one uh, is then projecting my image to everyone that's in the room. Now what I wanna do is I wanna connect my iPad to that same Zoom meeting. So in order to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Zoom on my iPad. And once I open it, um, I'm opening the Zoom app directly. I didn't go to the link, I just went to the Zoom app directly. Uh, I verify that I'm logged in uh, to my account with my icon in the corner. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap share screen. I'm not gonna join the meeting, I'm just gonna tap share screen at the bottom. Now it's gonna ask for the meeting ID uh, in order to join that meeting. So if I go back to my computer, uh, in the upper left-hand corner of my main Zoom window, there's a little green check mark in the shield here. And when I click on that, this will give me my meeting ID. So I can go ahead now to back to my iPad and I can type in that meeting ID. And once I enter that ID and hit OK, it will connect my iPad, just like that. It says, hey, it's now broadcasting. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to start recording, start broadcasting with my Zoom. It does a three, two, one countdown. And now uh, I am sharing my screen, my, my iPad screen here is now being shared directly to um, my Zoom meeting. So you'll notice whatever I do on my iPad is now taking place on my television monitor. Now over here, again, I still have my main view of my uh, window here. And again, I could go and I could view that as a gallery view if I wanted to, and I could see all the tiles of everybody at one time. But now what I'm able to do is I can now take my iPad and I am now mobile. So I could take this, I could take my Apple Pencil, I could open up an app like Explain EDU, and now be able to teach my lesson remotely walking around the room. And so if I am right here um, and I can add slides, add pages, be able to do uh, my writing, drawing, and so on, and then whatever I do walking around the room is being mirrored directly to my television screen for the people in the room to be able to see, just like I would have done in an in-person class. And it is still zooming uh, to the people at home. So the students at home will still be able to see what is going on uh, because I'm sharing my iPad screen via Zoom to everybody else. So again, kind of confusing, but laptop is kind of the, the home or the hub of everything here. That's plugged into a television or monitor. That monitor is for the people in the room. The people in the room can see my TV and can see everything that's being broadcast to it. For my iPad then, I simply opened up the Zoom app and I tapped share screen and I joined the meeting ID. Um, and once I did that and I joined my meeting ID by tapping share screen, I type in that code and then that then shares my screen to my laptop 
on the second display, which again is the second monitor setting, uh, which again could be a TV or whatever I have my, my laptop plugged into, um, and will also share to everybody at home.